Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Jasmine Tea. I'm your host, Jasmine, and today I'm going to be bringing you piping hot commentary on your favorite Blackity Black shows, specifically Queen of the South, Season 5, Episode 3. So, let's jump in and see what's been brewing on the internet. First up, we have Baby Pote is on the way. I know I was super excited to find out Kellyanne was pregnant. I feel like Pote needs some love in his life. He's always been our like strong, you know, formidable gangster. Teresa's ride or die. And we've seen Teresa get to have her chance at love with James. You know, there was a little wisp of do I like you in the air with Javier as well. However, Pote has just been all about the business, all about the work. So I'm excited for the chance to be able to see him as a father. Let me know in the comments what type of dad you think Pote is going to be. Um, we also saw him kind of get to have a bit of father-son relationship with Teresa's godson as well, Tony. But we know that relationship tragically ended. And so now Pote has the opportunity to be vindicated in terms of his parental skills. And I'm looking forward to it. Definitely, definitely excited about baby Pote. Number two, Boaz is shaking things up as usual. Like, he can't never just fall in line, get with the plan, not cause drama. I mean, it's just true Boaz fashion. And he's always going to do it in some jazzy ass ensemble, some tacky, elaborately decorated, you know, shirt or something. Um, so we know he kidnapped the um, judge at the end of the last episode, at the end of episode two. He got Judge Lafayette in the back of his car. Who knows where he took him? We'll talk about that a little later. Um, but Twitter has been buzzing as well, simply saying, Boaz be Boaz. And, you know, we just can't really predict what he's going to do next, but he's always causing some drama. Um, third and finally, been brewing on the internet that Jaressa, James and Teresa, are just like the cutest couple. Oh, so sweet. Now, we know they aren't officially a couple, but we know they've like unofficially been feeling each other for quite some time, okay? We just need them to go ahead and put us out of our suspense, go ahead and get together. Teresa tells him like every season, basically, we can't be quit playing, sis. We know you feel it, y'all. Just do it. All right, now for our piping hot moments from episode three. These are kind of like three things that define the episode. Number one, Boaz killed Jess Lafayette. Just like I was just saying, Boaz be Boaz. And you don't never know what he's gonna do, where he's gonna be, but he came in and effed up the plan, okay? Teresa was brokering peace. Teresa had a higher level scheme in mind. And Boaz came in and just completely effed that up with his recklessness. You know, he's very impulsive, as he even said about himself. And it's just annoying as hell. So like, because he killed Lafayette, he was unable to clear Dumas' name. So Dumas is still out here hiding. Basically, he has a bounty on his head. It's not safe. Um, and Boaz is like accepted his fate. He told Teresa, like, basically, I know you probably gonna have to kill me, but I'm at peace with it. And you know, part of me kind of respects that. I tend to operate on the whole if we beef and I got you type vibe. Um, and I just feel like respect, you know, Boaz know he did something that wasn't really in line with the rules. You know, he stepped out of line. His boss did not give him orders to kill this judge, but he was like, you know, I really just made peace with it. I felt like it's what needed to happen. It is what it is. So on a personal tip, I feel that as a fan of the show, it's annoying as hell. Piping hot moment number two, Dumas, on his attempt to flee the city, flee the whole country, mind you, um, he makes a stop and sees his friend Lucian. And I just felt like that was dumb as hell. I feel like if you want to run, you shouldn't really be making no pit stops. Um, and I believe Twitter agreed with me. But um, one of the key moments was when his friend told him like, hey, don't trust nobody. And that was something that was kind of rolling through Dumas's head because he's a man on the run. He has a bounty on his head. I know Teresa has stuck her head out and sent James to help him flee, but do you really, you know, can you really trust her? Is it really pure? And I mean, if we want to wrap things up with our piping hot moment, Teresa turns Dumas in. So the cops show up at Teresa's bar like, hey, we know Boaz killed Judge Lafayette and we're about to take him in now. However, remember, Boaz is Teresa's cousin, so maybe part of it is just like the family thing. But Teresa also realized like, you know, Boaz is annoying as hell, but he be doing his job, okay? He got things down there in Miami on lock. You know, he has built some very valuable, personable relationships in Miami and her money just don't really work right without Boaz at his post. So she chose to instead let Dumas take the fall for it. 
he's going to jail instead of Boaz. And that just really like shocked the game. It shocked the internet because James was telling Dumas the whole time, like, nah, bro, Teresa's is not playing you. You can trust her. It's all good. And then just a few months later, Teresa knocked on that door, brought in the cops, and it was a wrap. You know, at the end of the day, she had to protect her own team, her own squad. And Dumas just kind of got caught up in the mix. You know, I hate to see it from one brown face to another. I hate to see it go that way. Um, but in that type of game, you're probably just going to end up in dead, I mean, in jail or dead anyway, as they say. So, you know, he's a very fine man, though, a very fine man, you know, probably have an easy time in jail. Um, who knows? But that is going to wrap up this episode of The Jasmine Tea. I just wanted to give you a quick recap of Queen of the South, Season 5, Episode 3. I will be back next week with a recap for Episode 4. In the meantime, in between time, make sure you are following me on social media at The Jasmine Tea. It's the same as my name. Just throw an at symbol in front of it. If you want to follow the show, which is above my head, you can follow at The Jasmine T-E-A on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as well. See you next week, guys. Bye.